the forehead of your robot. I remember one of the creepiest videos I've seen before. Because there was something to it that really never happened, that it seems so real that it might actually did happen. Similar to the world ending in 2012, which by the way really never happened, because I was fully awake during the day the world was supposed to end, according to the Mayans. You see, there was something to it that was odd and you were wondering where I got the video from? Let me tell you about the whole situation I've encountered. I live in a town in Wisconsin, I remember going to a DVD store around late 2019, that surprisingly had free DVDs. You don't need any money for a copy, yup it's all free. I was looking around to buy something interesting and maybe some DVDs. I was a huge fan of television and all that other shit. But something got to my attention on something I never had. There was a DVD of a fireplace. If you don't know, it's like some live stream of a fireplace to relax in. Since I didn't have a fireplace, I bought this DVD for my house. I grabbed out the DVD player. It's been a while since I've gotten DVDs like this. But the thing is, it's gonna contain something later on. But let me tell you this, I remember visiting a town called, Cransville. It is located in Northern Illinois. I moved to Wisconsin at late 1999. Around Christmas time during that time, it was pretty snowy out there, and it was pretty hard moving to the town in Wisconsin, which I currently live in. To be frank, I think the town I currently live is better than the town I used to live in. If you want to know the history of Cransville, Illinois, it started back in the 1800s, founded by a man named George Cranley, and the town has a population of around 10,000. So it's a pretty small town. But what happened to it basically? You will have to find out when I put the chimney DVD in. It was pretty shocking stuff on what I have stumbled upon. It was like in the night hours, when I was about to go to sleep. I put this DVD in to relax myself and sleep easily. I slept for a few hours, until I heard a sound pop out. Basically I was awoken with the sounds of a party. It appears that the television switched scenes to a video of a New Year's Eve party. It was New Year's Eve, from the date of December 31st 1999. It was a block party at a neighborhood street. The block party was celebrating the new century that was about to come. There were around 30 people in the party, and the cameraman seemed really paranoid, as if either was feeling the world was about to end, or he was going to get killed. The thing is, these apocalypse predictions are just downright stupid. It cuts to the countdown to the year 2000, a year that was going to begin the 2000s. The champagne was sprayed out, and it was obviously, Cransville, Illinois. The fact is, the cameraman gets even more paranoid. He curls himself in while they make the countdown. When it gets 12, things go wrong. A bright light was seen, and there appears to be a massive explosion. The video cuts to black for a little bit, and after that was well, the aftermath of what happened. It gets really intense. Littered in the grass and the streets were the vaporized shadows of people celebrating. It looks much worse than Hiroshima in my opinion. But the cameraman survived, and there were more shadows stuck into the walls. Two vaporized shadow beings was a mother hugging her child in distress, if the world actually ended. Another was a man running away, and the final shadow was the creepiest. Because that final shadow appeared to be a man standing and watching. This was the position the man was looking at, the cameraman. Because in fact, I rewind the video and saw something. A stalker was about to kill this cameraman, and here he was. He was vaporized to death. What's the strange part is, I think I revived a memory I had from 2001. I saw this video before, and it was obviously not edited. So the world actually ended in 2000. It's weird that something so odd just happened, and most people never talked about it. So did the world actually end in 2000, and are we living in purgatory ever since?